CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show the difference between digital zoom and optical zoom using a Security Cameras Inc. NVR. This camera happens to be a PTZ camera, which will allow me to pan, tilt, and zoom. And I'm going to show how zoom is affected in different ways based on if you digitally zoom or if you optically zoom. So digital zoom is the software attempting to stretch the image to get better clarity at a further distance without actually adjusting the lens. Optical zoom is when a lens physically rotates and zooms in optically rather than relying on software to make the image larger, almost like using a magnifying glass, a telescopic lens, or binoculars. So I'm going to first show digital zoom. So if I click on my camera, and I come down here to the zoom button. Notice on the left there is a PTZ, otherwise known as pan, tilt, zoom option for cameras with pan, tilt, or zoom. But again, I'm focusing on digital zoom first. So when I click on the zoom icon, it's going to ask me to log in. So I'm going to log in. And now it's put this preview, this picture in picture, at the bottom right hand side. And then if I want to utilize digital zoom, I would need to use the scroll wheel. So as I'm scrolling in on these cars, you'll also notice my picture in picture has this gray box that is getting smaller and smaller as I'm zooming in using the scroll wheel on my mouse. To scroll out, I would scroll backwards on my mouse. So what digital zoom is doing, you'll notice as I'm zooming in on the characters on this license plate, it's going to make them more, more and more pixelated as I'm zooming in. So what it's doing is stretching this image to try and get more detail, but when it's doing that, it's becoming more pixelated because it is stretching it and digitally zooming in using software to find that or see these characters. So I'm going to scroll back out and I can also adjust my view by clicking and dragging this gray rectangle here. And then I can zoom all the way out by using my scroll wheel or right clicking on the image. So it saved my zoom level and I'm going to zoom it back out by scrolling and then right clicking to get out of that zoom function. So that is digital zoom. Now optical zoom, as I mentioned, I'm going to click on my channel again. It's going to bring up my menu. And then what this is going to let me do is use the zoom lens on my pan tilt zoom camera. So I can zoom it in by pressing the plus icon. And you'll note that the letters and numbers on these plates got clearer just by using optical zoom. So if I zoom back out, the numbers and letters are much smaller, they're harder to see. So I'm going to zoom back in using the optical zoom lens. And now you can make out those letters and numbers without even utilizing digital zoom because of how powerful the optical zoom is. Now even with this camera using its optical zoom, I can also utilize digital zoom on top of the optical zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll wheel in and now these characters on this plate are looking clear as day so optical zoom plus digital zoom made these plate numbers very very clear hopefully this video helps you understand the difference between digital zoom and optical zoom thank you for watching if you're watching on youtube don't forget to like comment and subscribe